Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to pour the seashell technique again <laughs> because I, I just love it. I, I love to watch the resin and yeah. So I've chosen the mold from resincourses.com and I'm starting with my first color and it's a resin ink. It's the jeans and it's from Octopus. So I mixed my resin ink or a mixed resin the ultra cast resin and that's what i'm going with yeah there was something in my mold i need to clean my mold there's always something falling in so i needed to get my tape and now i just clean my mold a little bit before i start pouring my first color and like i said it's the jeans resin ink from octopus so i'm always looking in the molds that i find a good slot you know, where I can just pour from the side and I'm really pouring from the side and just let it flow into my mold. So this is my first color done. And now I'm going with a darker shade and there I mixed um, some blue and some black together. So I have a little bit more opaque color. You see it in a second what I used. I used the blue pigment drops and pour black resin ink from Etta Art. So I have a darker blue color and this I'm gonna pour into my resin. It's still um, transparent but um, a little bit more on the opaque side like the blue if you know what I mean but it's still transparent. It's just a little bit stronger mixed because the pigment drops are also a little bit stronger than the resin inks. So now my next color is a chameleon pigment and it's a galaxy from Let's Resin. So this is my next color and I'm just pouring this also in the slot. And you always see that I'm not pouring very fast. I just let the resin flow. Always take my time. I never hurry too much because I... I'm a person when I start to hurry with a pour, it doesn't work. So yeah, that's typical me. So I always, I learned it to just take my time and not to, yeah, not to force it too much. So now I'm giving it a quick torch because there are still some bubbles on the surface. And now I can go further with my white. The white is the pigment drops in white from Etta Art. And I can say that I'm mixing my white rather strong for this effect. So I'm also pouring this from that side. Just make sure that I get it out of my cup, that there's not much left in my cup. And then I can take my clear resin and I'm just filling up my mold. And it's very interesting how the different colors are already shading at the sides. You can see it. And now there's the final push. And also here I just resin flow so it can do its nice patterns. When you pour your clear, please be careful that you are not pouring too much into your mold. It's easily done that you overfill your mold. So. I think I've overfilled this pour also a little bit because, yeah, I underestimated. I thought, you know, I, I was careful, but you see it later that um, I'm also overfilling a little bit. So that's why I'm saying just be careful. And now there's a final torch and you can see already where the white is um, that it's working. So something is happening with the white. The resin makes its effects. So I'm very curious how this is going to turn out. And now I'm just taking a mixture of different things which I found. I also found some pearls. I found some um, shell pieces and glass stones. So I just used what I found, what I had in my drawer. So this is from any brand. I cannot really tell you what brands I just, yeah. I just used what I had and what I thought could be ma matching. So, and this is my pour almost done. You see that I 
I already see that I um, overflowed it. I give it a final torch and then I just let the resin work. And I'm also gonna show you a time lapse, how the resin is reacting, what the resin is doing. So I'm quite positive for a nice effect. And I really love um, the different color of the chameleon pigment. So yeah, I will see how the final result is gonna be. Anyway, I let it cure 24 hours and time for demolding. I love the color of the jeans from Octopus. It's a beautiful color. And also with the darker shading, which I mixed with the pigment drops. So just let's have a look how this is gonna look like. And look at that. It's again like a tree because it's a round mold and then you get rather a sort of tree or I, sometimes I call it also a peacock effect. But um, yeah, the pour is of course the seashell technique. And in this pour, I really love how you can see the chameleon pigment, but it's a pity that I cannot show it too good on the video how you know, how it's shining and how it's having a little bit sparkle, but you can really see this beautiful effect. Um, I really love it. So, and now I'm gonna show you the final result. And there you see the long crackles and yeah, how shiny this whole piece is. And yeah, with this, I just love and leave you. I thank you for watching and take care guys. Bye bye.